Let's move on to shares of Stiefel surging today after reporting another record quarter with $1.2 billion in net revenue. They also upped full year guidance on strong wealth management trends. And joining me now with more on these results and so much more is Ron Kraszewski. He is Stiefel's chairman and CEO. Ron, it's great to have you back. If you don't mind, can I just quickly ask if there's anything you'd oppose in the infrastructure deal that's coming together? I, I, I would guess the major stumbling point, um, you know, because I don't think anybody's against infrastructure, would simply be the cost. In this case, uh, it's investment. So I, I'm encouraged to read about this. Uh, you know, it's roads, uh, broadband, uh, bridges. Uh, this is infrastructure that we need to compete. So uh, I, I encourage them to get it done. All right, let me ask you then, uh, sort of with that out of the way, about some of the other macro trends that we have going on here. So infrastructure undoubtedly would be, I'm sure from the market's point of view, a macro positive. The Fed decision, which looks like any kind of tightening is going to be delayed because of what's going on with Delta. You think that's about right, that those kind of two major things are currently tailwinds for markets in the economy? I do. I mean, I, I don't expect the Fed to say, um, you know, to say anything or even signal any tightening. I'm not saying that's the right thing. I'm just saying that's what I expect them to do. Uh, there is, in my opinion, uh, the the inflation and all this transitory talk about inflation is not what I see. We, we've been worried about inflation for a long time, but today uh, jobs and, and small businesses trying to compete with the unemployment. These are, there's some real, uh, what I think are all more permanent uh, cost increase that's going to come through prices. So at some point, the Fed is gonna, going to act on that. And when they do, it's going to be a difficult reckoning for the market. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.